For the detection of malicious activity in computer systems, network traffic analysis is unavoidable. With the uprise of advanced persistent threats that use domain knowledge to damage one specific infrastructure, we can no longer limit analysis to flow-based properties in a network. The content of network traffic has to be taken into account. In this video, we introduce SNAPS, a new approach for exploring network traffic payload through projection and selection. The SNAP system consists of four components. The pixel viewer shows for every incoming message which values and attributes are present in the message. The brightness of a pixel determines the severity of the value, gray if it's common and white if it's rare. By means of a radar, old messages are replaced by new ones. The inter-arrival time between messages is shown by creating green markers after every second. Pixel content can be inspected using the lens view enabling the experts to inspect values and attributes in greater detail. Double-clicking a pixel stops the radar and locks the lens so that the expert can inspect other views while still remaining aware of the selected region. Experts can create multiple selections of interest by selecting one or more pixels. Traffic can be filtered by value, conversation, or more complex queries. When typing a complex query, attributes, operations, and values are suggested. Alternatively, Queries can be constructed using a table. By creating a separate selection for Samba traffic, pixel patterns become more frequent. The attribute view shows an hierarchical overview of all attributes in the traffic. Attributes can be removed from the pixel view by adjusting the projection settings. Alerts in the hidden attributes are now ignored. Selecting an attribute in the attribute viewer shows the distribution of the values of that attribute. Predominating values can be removed from the distribution using the ignore checkbox, immediately updating the anomaly scores of the remaining values. Bars on the right show the rarity of a value. Rarity thresholds can be set per value by adjusting the threshold in the corresponding bar. We can use the time view to inspect the distribution of values of an attribute over time. We can inspect the distributions on a logarithmic scale or over larger periods in time. Selecting the Samba command attribute shows the number of times files are read, created and modified in the network. By assigning a color to a read request, the locations of the read request become visible in all views. We can scroll back to earlier moments in time by dragging the time window over the x-axis, showing the location of a traffic burst. By selecting the view only containing Samba traffic, the attribute and time view are updated only showing the values and attributes occurring in the Samba traffic. We can train a separate classifier for this view by clicking the local button. Now alerts in the context of Samba traffic will be visible. When dealing with multiple selections of interest, the selection view shows an overview how selections are applied. Settings can be applied on a single view or multiple views at the same time. Experts can color attributes according to their protocol to gain more insight in the attribute space. The speed of the radars can be determined in terms of time units or number of messages using the hour class button. With the message view, experts can inspect attributes and values within a message. We can see that there is one attribute producing negative values. The expert can inspect a pixel view in even more detail by switching to the Wireshark interface. Here we can indeed confirm that something strange is going on with these messages. This concludes the presentation of SNAPS, a new approach for analyzing network traffic by creating multiple selections of interest through projection and selection. Thanks for watching.